Climate. Introduction. Have you ever imagined how polar bears can live in the Arctic and penguins can survive in Antarctica? How do some animals survive in the deserts with so little water? Well, that is because these animals have certain special characteristics that enable them to live in a particular climate successfully. These special characteristics are called adaptations. We can define adaptation as the way that makes it possible for an animal to live in a particular place. Balloon fish. Why a puffer fish is also called a blowfish or a balloon fish. The ability of an animal to adapt to an environment besides climatic conditions depends on the availability of food, nesting sites and the population of predators. For example, a puffer fish can blow itself up into a balloon to several times its normal size by swallowing water or air. This adaptation helps it to protect itself when threatened by a predator. Hot and dry climates In hot and dry climates, water is scarce and animals need adaptations to conserve water. Most animals in dry climates can get water from the plants they eat, particularly succulent ones such as cactus. Some animals also get water from fluids of the bodies of animals they eat. Because water is scarce, animals here develop means of conserving it. Let us look at some adaptations that animals make to the hot and dry climate. Tropical and temperate climates it is hot and humid in the tropics and quite warm in the temperate regions. Hence, animals found here have adaptations mainly for regulating temperature and for faster evaporation of water so that it doesn't get too sticky and uncomfortable. Evaporation of water from the body leaves a cooling effect. They do so by active sweating, panting and licking. Like in hot desert climates, animals here too are more active during early morning, evening or night. Extremely cold climates Animals that live in cold areas usually have adaptations to keep their bodies warm by layers of fat deposits, etc. Animals that live in cold water usually take on the temperature of the water, which is usually stable. Some large fish and mammals keep their bodies warm by excessive muscular activity and thick waterproof fur. Adaptations of Polar Bear How does a polar bear adapt to its cold Arctic life? Polar bears and many other animals such as seals, whales and walrus have a thick layer of fat called blubber under their skins which keeps their bodies warm and insulated from the cold. The white fur of the polar bear is a good insulation from cold and also helps it to camouflage from its prey and enables it to hunt well both on land and in the water. Female polar bears dig dens in the snow where they might hibernate, that is, remain inactive or dormant during the worst part of the winter. This allows them to survive without food or water during the cold winter season. The fat stores of the body get converted into energy for body to function during hibernation. The cubs are born in the den. Penguin Adaptations Have you ever wondered why penguins huddle together? Penguins are found in the Antarctic. They huddle together in groups to stay warm and fight their enemies. The male penguins huddle together to protect the eggs laid by the female counterparts from the severe cold. If exposed to the cold, the egg gets destroyed. The female penguins return to the sea in order to feed themselves and bring food for their chicks.